At Electronica 2016, we're back at our home base, the uh, Fast Forward Awards startup area. It's a long expression. I'm interviewing Laurent Vera of ST Microelectronics. That is the correct name, way to do it, uh, Laurent. Is Absolutely. it ST Micro? Not ST, not STM. We don't want no, that. You can say ST, STM, yeah, yes. ST Micro. On the ST corridors, we hear ST, but it should be ST Microelectronics, of course. ST Microelectronics, Laurent, is um, a main sponsor, platinum sponsor of the Fast Forwards Awards uh, stuff going on right in the background as we speak. And uh, we're very grateful uh, that you could have to find the time to come uh, to our That's my Fast Forward yep, and to discuss with us because uh, we are working with startups, people who want to start uh, developing projects and they need tools, of course. They need hardware, software, and, and support. And uh, we are told, of course, that ST Micro has a brilliant set of things to get going. The STM ODE32. What does ODE stand for, Laurent? Okay. It's a STM32 based product. Okay. ODE stands for Open Development Environment. Yes. So the first word is very important, uh, Laurent. It's open. Yeah. What so does uh, open stand for? Detail that place for me. Open means that we have a very open, open source, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. system uh, based on the STM32. Mm -hmm. uh, STM32 is a very successful microcontroller platform, yep. a sort of boot platform, mm -hmm. uh, ARM-based. Yep. Uh, we were the first company to use this core, yep. and based on this success, we have dec decided to. Uh, allow our partners, Intel partners from yep. ST, to okay. join and to provide open development environment, an open source yep. uh, software to allow a fast prototyping and development. Ah, brilliant. So, how do people uh, communicate uh, with each other you, uh, if they use the ODE? Do they have a platform or a community or a forum? Yes, there is a forum for sure, there is a platform, and the platform is a nuclear board. The nuclear board features an Arduino interface uh -huh. and the Nucleo you can stack uh, shields or uh, X Nucleo boards mm -hmm. and to add some functions for instance yep. you can add actuators yep. you can add sensors mm -hmm. you can add connectivity yep. and uh, with it with this system you can quickly build a prototype yep. can you give any indication roughly Laurent of the, of the power of the Nucleo central board what what uh, sort of MIPS range does it range in it, what, what sort of power am I looking at if I get a Nucleo board? If you get a Nucleo board, you will get all the product portfolio from STM32. So that from the very uh, basic product, Cortex-M0 based, mm -hmm. up to the most advanced one. You will have some low power product, mm -hmm. you will have some high features mm -hmm. product, you will have some uh, very inexpensive type of product. So yep. you will cover the complete STM32 portfolio. Yep. Yep. And then people always want to know, you know, uh, a, a central processor is okay and very powerful. Now I start connecting things at the input side and I want to connect things at the output side. So at the input side, sensors and stuff. Do you also provide that for the uh, ODE? Absolutely, we provide a sensor. And you mention a few sensors? We have a gyros, uh, accelerometers, mm -hmm. we have uh, temperature sensors, we have UV sensors, yep. whatever type of sensors. You know, it's an open platform, so we have plenty of partners joining these platforms, developing boards for us. And now we, and now we move from the sensor side and people want to do actual things at the output side, eh? like actuator. What do you have in terms of actuator boards? Motors? We have plenty of actuators, uh, motors, okay, different type of motors, by the way, because they are not all the same. No. So, so brushless, yeah. brushless, step motors, mm -hmm. uh, field-oriented control motors, yep. whatever. So we have all this available in the ODE. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, today, you know, and yesterday as well, we have been, all the contestants have been given an SDM goodie bag, a blue oh. bag, and uh, they have been crazy about it. And um, so w I'm want you, you know, let's have a look what's inside this famous STM goodie bag, shall we? Can you hold the microphone for a second, uh, Laurent? Yeah, yes, I can. Yes, I can, yes. <laughs> now, let, let's just, this is the goodie bag. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, first it's a nice logo, yes. I have to say. Yeah, exactly. So, that's, oh man, let, let me put that here. Can you hold it for a second? Thank you. Okay, a t-shirt with the STM32 logo. You know that the logo of STM32 is a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Yeah, so we have different colors for different type of products. For yep. instance, the green butterfly is for the low power products. Yep. 
The pink one is for the high performance mm. product, and we have the blue one for the generic product. So you've done everything to release the connectivity. To release the creativity, yeah, that's the, the motto for STM City. Absolutely, yeah. Next product, please, from the back. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, what do we have? Here we have, uh, you see, we were talking we about MEMS. We have a MEMS, uh, let's say, X Nucleo board. So, this board will be plugged in inside the, the Nucleo, mm -hmm. and you will add mm -hmm. this functionality inside mm -hmm. your prototype. Okay. In this case, and you can see, there are all the descriptions for this board, yep. what's included inside. Very well. And of course, it comes with the software, yep. which is open source. Very well. Okay, next. High performance. Sample kits for op amps. So op amps are very important, you know. Uh, and here you also have, uh, let's say, a uh, selection of op amps. Absolutely, <laughs> plenty of op amps. Okay, so you may select from people who like to work analog and have to understand. Analog, analog is very important, and it's really part of the ecosystem. Now, next up, that's the Nucleo expansion board. That is a BLE uh, expansion board. You know that connectivity is very important. Bluetooth and low energy. That's Bluetooth low energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Uh, possibility to connect quickly STM32 to your mobile phone. Yep. Okay, next one. Still not empty. Next one. Next one is a Wi Fi module. Again, if you want to add a Wi Fi expansion, you want to connect your uh -huh. product to your box, for instance, that's the right uh, 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 X Nucleo board to bring. Okay. Good stuff inside. Last one. Last one is a sub gigahertz RF. So, sub gigahertz, you know, is, wow. is a standard for uh, low power high range uh, uh, communication okay. and with this board you will be in a position to, to develop your, uh, your mm -hmm. low power, let's say, network, mm -hmm. RF network. Okay. Yeah. Laurent, that closes off the interview. You've, we've changed microphone as you see, you're holding it right now. So thank you very much for being us, being there on the, on the booth and explaining about uh, ST, uh, STM32 ODE. Thank, thank you, you Jan. Much. Thank you very much. Thank My you. pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> okay.